OK, and welcome to another week of this algebra course that we're working through. And this week is all about sequences. Um, so let's dive in um, a, a quick look at what we'll do this week. We're going to look at counting tree patterns. Um, you'll understand what that means in a second, but really this is going to be the basis on which we're going to build our understanding of sequences. Tomorrow, um, or rather the next lesson is going to be about looking at generating sequences. And then Wednesday is going to be about how to interpret um, interpret that. So let's just dive in. Here's the big idea. Here is a sequence. So we're going to start with this guy. This is the second pattern. This is the third pattern. This is the fourth pattern. And it continues like this. So before we go to that question, I just want to have a look at what's going on here. We start with, um, and I hope you agree, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five boxes as part of our first pattern. In our second pattern, we've got the five plus we've got another four. So we've sort of got nine overall. Um, and then it continues going up like this. And that question that's appeared at the top is how many of these boxes do we need to create the 10th pattern? So if this is pattern six, how many would we need for the 10th pattern? And you might want to pause this video and have a little think about that. But that's really the, the crux of, of what sequences are um, and what the kind of questions we get asked about sequences are. So we're going to start with something a bit simpler to start with. Here's a pattern um, of these stars. This is what the second pattern looks like. This is what the third pattern looks like. And we've been asked to find what pattern 10 and what pattern 100 look like. So let's have a little look. Pattern one is made up of one, two, three, four, five stars. Pattern two is made up of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stars. And pattern three is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stars. Now that's great, but this probably that's probably the wrong way to think about it. And you'll hopefully see what I mean when we sort of look at this a slightly different way. What we have is a star at the start and a star at the end. We always have two stars, one at the start and one at the end. And we also have a block of three, or maybe more than one block of three. So pattern number one is the two stars and then one block of three. Now, if you work that out, that's five, which is what we said earlier. Pattern two, what you have is you've got the two stars, so the stars at the start and the end, and two lots of three. Okay, so which is eight. But that's probably a more natural way of thinking about it, because here, pattern three, we have two stars, one at the start and one at the end, and we have three groups of three. Uh, which is going to be 11. So when we get asked what the 10th pattern is going to look like, the 10th pattern is going to have two stars, one at the start and one at the end, and then it's going to have 10 lots of three. And so without even drawing the pattern, without even getting that far, I'm pretty confident that there's going to be 32 stars needed. And again, that's just 10 times 3 plus 2. And again, for the 100th pattern, there's going to be two stars, the one right at the start, one right at the end, plus 100 lots of 3. So I already know there's going to be 302 stars in the 100th pattern. You could carry on. You know, if I said how many stars are there in the 73rd pattern, you could work that out, right? The 73rd pattern is going to be two stars plus 
73 lots of 3. OK, and so with that, you're able to work out any pattern you could possibly, um, uh, sorry, yeah, any pattern you could possibly ask to do. OK, so that would be 221. OK, so we'll do this one as well. So here we go. We've got this pattern. And again, we've been asked to find pattern 10 and 100. Now, again, we could just count the number of blocks, but let's think about what's happening here. We always have one sort of odd block at the top. So pattern one, you've got one odd block and then one row of two. This one, we have one odd block and two lots of two. For this pattern, we've got one odd block and you get an idea, three blocks of two. So for the 10th pattern, we would have one odd block at the top and 10 blocks of two. For the 100th pattern, we'd have one odd block at the top plus 100 lots of two. Yeah, so the 10th one would look something like this. Uh, if I count that right. Yeah, you're going to have one big block at the top. Or this block at the top, and then you're going to have all these blocks underneath it. And you're going to have 21 in total. OK, so let's fire some questions at you. Here's your sequence. How would I find out the number of faces for pattern 10? OK, so let's have a look at these options then. So the first one says you've got one sort of odd one sticking out. And then you would need three lots of 10. So let's have a look. This has got one odd block sticking out and you've got three uh, and you've got one lot of three. Here you've got one plus two lots of three, one plus three lots of three. And this would be one plus 10 lots of three. And I think that's absolutely acceptable. Um, you know, so we can actually work this out as well. So that's going to be 31 um, blocks required. Here we've got four times 10. This would not be correct. And um, what this person's done is they've just done four times 10, sort of in the hope that that gets them the right answer, but it's, it's not quite right. Here they've done four times 10 plus one. Again, what they're perhaps getting a bit confused with is they're thinking of this as being like four columns or because of the, you know, for some reason this extra one's adding something, but it's not. Now this one's interesting. This is saying 11 times three take two. Now if you work this out, you'll actually get 31. And, and this is another way of thinking right here. You could think of this pattern Think of these blobs that I'm drawing here as things that are missing. This is kind of like two times three, but take away two. This pattern here is a bit like three times three, but take away two. This pattern here is a bit like four times three, but take away two. So you could think of pattern a 10 as being 11 times three, take away two. And again, this answer is also correct. Again, the difference between A and D is this student has thought about it as being one odd one sticking out and then the three lots of, uh, you know, however many columns it is. Whereas D is sort of thought about the negative space and is really just taking these two extra ones away each time. Because if you think about it, that's just a rectangle missing two things. This is just a rectangle missing two things. And this is a rectangle missing two things. And that pattern continues. So look at this one, hearts. 
how would you find out the number of faces for pattern 12? What do you think? OK, so this one's quite interesting. Pattern one, you've got four. You've kind of got two on the bottom plus another two. Um, pattern two, you've got two on the bottom plus four. Pattern three, you've got two on the bottom plus, uh, plus six. So really, uh, four, you can think of this as two times two. This is going to be three times two. No, sorry, three times two. That's what I meant to write there. So let's have a little look. I think pattern 12 is going to be the two hearts at the bottom. Plus. It's going to be 12 times two. So let's have a look at these ones here. 12 times four is not quite right. Here we've got two times 12 plus four. Again, that's not quite right. Two times 10 is 20 plus three is 23. This doesn't seem right either because there's no sort of three sticking out. Whereas here, there is a sort of two sticking out. Our very, at the very start, we had these two and then we had another two. And really, you can think of it as these two are always here. And then we're just adding one row of two, two rows of two, three rows of two. So this could be a way of finding out the number of faces, uh, oh, sorry, the number of hearts, it should say, for pattern 12. So the answer would be D in this case. So this was our starting question. The main task is find the number, uh, so the number of these uh, squares needed for patterns 12, 50 and 100. And if you want something really challenging, find the number needed for pattern N. OK, so I'll let you have a go at that.